Hello everyone, welcome to the second lesson of the Scratch Coding Workshop for primary and uh, lower secondary teachers. Today we will look at the Scratch program. When you click at start and to open the Scratch, uh, you will see this Scratch window. Well, let's start from the right side at the top. The box at the top is called as a stage. So everything you do will appear on the stage. And the cat you see here, this is the default uh, character. When you open the scratch, it's called as a sprite. Now, the name of this sprite is just now it's a sprite one. You can change the name by clicking here. So let me change it to cat. Name of this sprite is cat. And uh, this space here in the center is code area. So this is where you do the coding. How do you do the coding in scratch? You use the blocks here. So in this case, these blocks are under motion category so you have the categories here there are nine categories motion loops sound events control sensing operators variables in my block now these are motion blocks if i click on looks these are looks blocks under looks category sound and they are with different colors and uh, below the first column you see here this area is where you manage your sprite now in this case, just now I only have one sprite, that is cat. If I have to add another sprite, I click on here. Do you see here when I take my mouse here, when I hover here, you see choose a sprite. You can choose a sprite, you can create your own sprite, you can give a surprise. Surprise means it will automatically, one character will come and then also you can upload your sprite. So in case if I click on choose a sprite, so it will take you to the scratch library and then here if I choose an apple, so we can apple now. We have two sprites here. One cat, another one is the apple. Now you can see the name of this uh, sprite is apple. If you want to increase the size of the apple, you can change it here. Do you see your size? Click here and if I make it 200. Yeah. Similarly, if I bring it down to like 50, In case if you don't want to see the on the stage, you just click on the show and hide. This area talks about the direction. In case if you want to give a direction for the cat, so you can change the direction. Click on here, you can change the direction. Just now I have clicked the cat. Yes, you can see the like the cat's direction changed to 180 degree. You can see here this is negative 100, negative 82. Uh, Top one will be zero. You can manage from here. So 90, it's you can see it isn't towards right. This one talks about the position. Now you have another one here called choose a backdrop. So if I click on the backdrop, and if I choose a backdrop, means basically the background. So let me select uh, one of the backgrounds. So if I click on this one, this background will come at will appear at the back. So I can change the care. I can. Bring the apple here if you want to change if you want to add another backdrop you can click here and choose another backdrop let me select a bedroom you can see it's now the cat and the apple are in the bedroom so you can see this this one shows the stage background you can see at the top stage you can change the stage background you can also draw your own backdrop okay? and uh, when we talk when we click at this cat okay, let me select this cat now anything you want to change in the cat if let's say if i bring it here move 10 steps so if you click on move 10 step the cat will move 10 step 10 step 10 step that's how you you animate the cat basically this is a block a move block a motion block is moving 10 step block that will again animate the cat so if you want to delete this block you just bring it here it will be deleted and uh, this is the costumes now you can see for this cat there are two costumes costume one and costume two you see here i can select any costume that is how you can change it and you can also add sound this is the sound tab costume tab and the code tab the code will give you all the all the different categories of the blocks and then you have the blocks here for under each category these are the features uh, within the within the scratch uh, interface and you must be wondering what is here this is for the full screen this is uh, you can see the manage the screen 
you see if you click on this one the space for the quota is becoming bigger that means when you have more codes uh, to arrange or to, to create then you have to you can use this uh, format and this this format as well usually this is the default format okay so now uh, let's try to do something okay, if i don't want this cat i can remove this cat click on here click on the x bar or you can right click and click on delete it's deleted and let me go to the backdrop as well if you click on the backdrop you can go to the backdrop here and then if you don't want this again you can delete here click on here and delete it now we don't have anything now what i'm going to do here is i'm, I'm not going to add uh, the sprite from the library i'm going to upload my own sprite so click here and go to the top one upload sprite click on the upload sprite let me go to the desktop okay that's my picture i'll open it now you can see you can also upload your own sprite so here there is a picture now i want to add a background background okay so backdrop click on the backdrop i'll use okay, this broad walk i'll use the broad walk so you can see my picture here uh, I think it's too big, slightly big, so I will reduce the size and bring it to 80. Okay, now it's, um, yeah, I'm going to add uh, some more sprites. So, okay, all right. So, these are the sprites you see in the library. Uh, there are many options here. Okay, I'm going to select, uh, let's go for spots. All right, so I'll add this soccer ball. A okay, soccer ball, so you can see the soccer ball is here. I will drag it here uh increase the size to 150 let me add another sprite as well let's go to music category all right i think this will do for now all right this is a keyboard i'll keep it here so i have a three sprites here now another one is a ball and then there is a there is a keyboard okay. before this i didn't tell you about these two uh, buttons here one is the green flag we call it the green flag it's basically to start or execute uh, start your program and this one is to stop stop the program okay. just now when you click on the green flag or the stop button nothing is going to happen here on the stage because we didn't add any code here so let's try to add first let's select the code here so do you see when i click on the sprite on my sprite my picture you see the picture here is being selected you can see when I click on ball, so that means you are adding code to this object. The object here is my picture. Okay, so name is Tinle. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, so let's start with the green flag. So it's uh, events. Under events, you'll see a block called green flag. Okay, I can make this zoom in, make it slightly, make it slightly bigger. What you can do is uh, when this green flag is clicked, uh, I want to say something. I want my picture to say something so i can go under the looks click on the looks and i can click here so i can add the text here so you can see hello everyone one for two seconds and i can add another one here trying to, trying to Tell others, others something more about myself. Okay? So under my name is Tilly for two seconds. Then I can again click or I can write here and I can duplicate. And then bring it here. And you can see here. Today I am going to, going to share. And again I can right click and duplicate here. And I can see. on the objects objects to know about me means when you click on the green flag so it's here hello everyone my name is Tinle today I'm going to share two things here there are two objects at the football and the, and the keyboard so when you click on the football nothing is happening keyboard is nothing happening so we want to we want to add code on this so for that, so we are done with this, we are going to the football. When I click on the football, the football should say something. Okay. Let's again go back to the events. So under the events, there is a block called when this sprite is clicked. Click here, click here. 
what I'm going to do here is when this sprite is clicked, what should happen now? When this sprite is clicked, I want you to see here that uh, just of playing, playing. Oh, you see, if you click on here, see, I love playing football. If you click on this, similarly, I can go to the keyboard and again, but what you can do is I can go to keyboard and again go to the events. And when this sprite is clicked, I mean, and then I can again say looks and see, I love, I love listening to. Music. So you can see when I click on here, see I love listening to music. And then what you can do is here, what you can do is uh, further do add some more features. Just if you want to go for the sound, you can check this, bring this code here, or sing. I love listening to music, there will be a sound of a music. Similarly, so if in the so I love listening to music. Similarly in the football, I can do something. Maybe I'll make the football turn for some okay, some angles. I can just click turn 15 degree. When I click on here, you see 15 degree, I love playing football. You see, so you want to see the full screen. And go for the full screen click here this is the full screen when i click on the green flag you say hello everyone hey, my name is tinle today i'm going to share two things click on the objects to know about me okay so when i click on the football see it moves i love playing football and you can hear the music and then i love listening to music you can see here we have created a very simple project uh, letting other people know more about you so what you're going to do here is the project for you is you're also going to create something similar to this as your first project for this uh, for this scratch uh, coding workshop okay, thank you everyone for listening to me and i hope you have uh, learned something from this lesson thank you